Do you ever start buying Christmas decor and then you enter a, like a space time vortex and before you know it you just have so much stuff? Because that totally happened to me. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Christmas decor haul. I have so many new items surrounding me and I'm excited to share them all with you. We have Hobby Lobby, Walmart, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, some really fun things. And I want to also talk to you about how I plan on decorating in our home this year. So if you are ready for some decor inspiration, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I live in East Tennessee. I am a mom of one little boy who's 14 months old right now. And I just like to share cleaning motivation and home decor inspiration and fun videos like that. So I have my Christmas shirt on. I have my Christmas earrings on. Was gonna light the fireplace, but it's actually too loud for the video. So sans fireplace, but we are so ready to start this Christmas decor season. Let's go ahead and jump into these finds. I will share with you where the item is from, where I plan on using it, and the price that I got it for, and um, I should have a coordinating blog post with links and stuff like that. So look out for that in the description box below, and let's get started. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to start with Hobby Lobby first. This is where I bought the majority of my new Christmas decor. Um, I actually switched up my Christmas decor theme last year. So I have a Christmas decor haul from 2020. I'll link that in the cards and the description box. But in that, I talked about how I wanted to do a more traditional Christmas theme. So I bought a lot of stuff last year to redo my tree and our living area and everything. And this year I'm just kind of building on that. So um, Hobby Lobby, I mainly focused on picks and greenery items. And then I got some fun new things. So let's go ahead and jump into Hobby Lobby. Also, quick note, when I chopped at Hobby Lobby, everything was already 50% off. Um, the first couple, I'll do the, the floral items first. So... Um, I picked up three of these picks. Let's see if I can get you guys a close up. So these just look like iced branches. Um, and I got three of these, but these I actually bought some last year to put in our Christmas tree and I just wanted a few more to make it look more full. Um, last year I was new to all the picks and ribbons and everything, so still building on that. Um, another thing I picked up were three of these red berry picks. And also again, I had these last year and I just wanted to get a few more. I'm already forgetting to tell you the prices. Um, the iced branch picks were 99 cents regular. These red berries are $1.99 regular price. Okay, um, I did pick up two of these branches. They're just like pine branches with some pine cones in there. These are going to go in my wall pockets in the living room on the wall between our living room and kitchen. Um, I keep lambs in there year round, but I really want to do a like Christmas green, not really frosted in the living area as much. So I bought these and I plan on putting a pop of red in there with them, but these were $7.99 regular price again everything was half off and then i picked up two branches these two i think these are cedar or juniper they do have some little berries on there um, these are actually going to go in the vase on my entry table last year i had bought some like glittery stems but they were more of a blue green and i am going to use those probably in january um, transitioning into that winter decor but for Christmas again I really wanted to do the real Christmas green and these were $4.99 each regular price okay also from Hobby Lobby I picked up this gorgeous mini wreath this is like a frosted rosemary 
wreath and I love it. There's so many different ways you can use these mini wreaths in a window, on a blanket ladder, on a peg rail shelf, um, as a candle surround. You can just sit a candle down in here and it would be so pretty on an end table or an entry table or even as a centerpiece on your kitchen table. That's totally cool. Um, this was $7.99 regular price and I am obsessed with how pretty and snowy it looks. Okay, um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna show this to you. I picked up a garland. Okay, it is a six foot garland, but here I'll give you just a close up of like the branches. I believe this is like glittery mistletoe, I believe is what the white berries are, but it's a, um, a six foot long, piece of this it was regular $21.99 and this I actually envision on our headboard in our master bedroom so in the master bedroom I'm going much more neutral um, snowy um, you'll see I have actually a new picture to put in our bedroom but um, and then there's just gonna be a couple pops of red in there so this is going to be gorgeous and i actually want to add some battery operated lights into this on a timer so that it can come on in the evenings and then go off when we're going to bed so um and then i did pick up two little mini trees um, from hobby lobby this first one is just a snowy little tree here and of course most of these come in like a little burlap um, sack and you can buy like the buckets or whatever you want to put them in i just like them like this um this was regular 9.99 so it was half off um as you can see from hobby lobby i focused more on flocked and snowy items and that is because after christmas this year instead of taking every single thing down and being left with just like a blank house basically I would like to keep up a few items through January, maybe till um, Valentine's Day, that just have that winter feel because I just don't want the coziness to end. So I did buy this little snowy tree. And then I also bought this taller one that is just kind of a glittery. Let me see if it will, there we go. And this one was also regular $9.99, so $10 for the both of them as they were at half price. Okay, so that's all the floral items I got from Hobby Lobby. So let's go through a few decor pieces that I got. Um, again, going with that winter theme after Christmas, I bought this little white snowflake. It was $4.99 regular price. This is great for tiered trays or end table decor. And then I also got this little wooden one with the snowflake painted on it and this was also $4.99 when you think about the prices I mean like why is this $4.99 and this is $4.99 whatever it was $2.50 half price um I also picked up this was in the Christmas ornament section and it's just a little black sign with a rope and this was regular $3.99 but this is actually going to be great for a Cricut DIY project um, I haven't decided what I want it to say, but it will most likely go on one of my tiered trays for Christmas slash winter. I also picked up some of this Christmas color twine. Um, it has red, green, and white, green and white, and then red and white. Um, this is also going to be great for um, Cricut DIYs, and you can also use it for wrapping your gifts. Um, I made a little stack of books for my Halloween tier tray and wrapped regular twine around it. So that's kind of what I had in mind for this, making Christmas stack books and then wrapping this twine around them. I also picked up this Buffalo Check stocking, little hanging decor. It has beads there on the twine. This was $5.99 regular price. Um, oh, the twine was $4.99 regular price. It was half off. This was $5.99 regular price, and I actually envisioned this hanging on my peg rail shelf at the top of my stairs. I also picked up the mini tiered tray. So I wasn't gonna get one of these because I was like, you know, 
what the heck do you do with a mini tear tray? It's not like I'm gonna put a mini tear tray on my regular tear tray. But um, I watch Crystal Tara, she's one of my favorite YouTubers, but she actually got one of these and she mentioned that it would be a really great thing to hold jewelry. And that's exactly what I'm gonna use this for. Rings, necklaces, earrings, this would be great for that and it's really cute. Okay, I picked up a couple things for little Grant's room. I do put a, I think it's like a two foot tree in his room. I'm sure it'll get bigger maybe when he gets older. But right now it's just a little tabletop tree that he can't really get to. But um, he has actually like a national parks themed nursery. And when I saw these little felt ornaments, I had to get these. They are so cute, little mountains and bears and a little tree. These were $4.99 regular price. You guys, I'm so bad at prices. The mini tier tray was $7.99 regular price. And then I also picked up this tree topper for Grant's room. I can't remember if he had a tree topper on his tree last year. Um, if I do have one, I'll just return this one. But I couldn't remember, so I decided to go ahead and get this one just in case. This was also $4.99 regular price. Okay, we're almost done with Hobby Lobby. There are a couple things that I'm still looking for from Hobby Lobby, mainly um, little stir spoons for my hot cocoa bar, the ones with the little peppermints on top. They didn't have them at my store and I had my mom check. She lives about an hour away from me and they don't have them at her store either. So I'm just hoping that they haven't put them out yet and hopefully I can get my hands on some. I picked up this drying mat and I can't remember if this, oh yeah, this is in the Christmas section. Um, it's just the Buffalo Check drying mat regular $7.99. I have a drying mat out on my countertops all the time. I only have a fall one right now, um, but I do leave like Grant's um, bibs and his high chair tray and everything out just ends up sitting out to dry most of the time because it's just, that's convenient. So I decided to buy this Buffalo Check one because it can stay out year round because I do Buffalo Check in my house all year. So that's why I got this. Okay, now to the exciting things. I got this beautiful sign. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And it looks like this big hang tag it actually hangs with this rope. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. It was regular $19.99, so only $10 with the sale. And this is going to go over my entryway table. Last year, I just had a regular... Um, window pane hanging up above the entry table but it is actually at the top of my stairs now above the peg rail shelf so i needed something to replace that and i love this and then the other picture i got i'm not really like a switch all my uh wall art out for christmas but when i saw this i had to get it it is this gorgeous canvas with the little reindeer and he has the flowers in his antlers or her antlers. Um, this was regular $40, so I paid 20 for it with the sale, which I thought was too good to pass up. Like $20 for a piece of artwork, that's a deal. But in our master bedroom, we actually have a series of wall hangings from Hobby Lobby by the same artist that has the flowers on it. We have a barn and a truck, and then I also have the bathroom ones as well but this is going to look gorgeous in our room and i think i can leave this up into january as well because there's no red it's not really like super christmasy but just more wintry and i absolutely love it okay so we've gone through all the hobby lobby stuff so let's do let's do walmart next because that's actually the place where i've gotten the next most amount of things um, so one of the first things I picked up from Walmart is actually this little nativity set. It comes with this paper stable and it's just like stuffed characters. Last year I had my mom's old home interior nativity set and I had it sitting on a shelf. Well Grant was only four months old. He wasn't even crawling yet so that was totally fine. I knew going forward that I needed something that was not gonna be breakable. So I saw this, this was only $15 at Walmart and they're just little stuffed characters. It's perfect, he can play with it if he wants and move the pieces around and I don't have to worry about 
any broken glass or anything on the floor. So this is a great option if you're looking for a kid-friendly nativity scene. The next thing I picked up from Walmart, I was so excited. I saw these on Instagram and then I actually saw them at my store very early on, is these little tear tray decor sets. So they had so many different ones of these. I decided to get this one because I'm doing a hot cocoa bar in my kitchen on my uh, Hobby Lobby chicken wire shelf. And I was actually texting my mom pictures like, Bob, which one should I get? Because they had a couple of hot cocoa ones. But this one has a sign that says hot chocolate and marshmallows. It has a mini mug and some little candy canes and then a hot cocoa sign. This is gonna be perfect for my chicken wire shelf in the kitchen. And this was only $9.98 at Walmart. Okay, a couple little small items I got from Walmart. Um, I got two picks. These were only 98 cents each. I got this one with like the frosted leaves and red berries. That's kind of a recurring theme, frosted with red berries. And I also got this one. It was also 98 cents. And these are great. I don't really use these small ones in my tree, but I do use these as tear tray fillers. So they are great for that. Another thing, I placed an order online at Walmart for Christmas tree and just to uh, meet the order minimum so you don't have to pay that extra $5 fee they have now. Um, I ended up ordering this little trio of snowy trees on this log. This was like $6.78. Yeah, $6.78. And this is just going to be great also transitioning into winter decor. I think this would be really pretty in the bathroom, but we'll see. The last thing I picked up from Walmart, I actually ordered this online. So I was looking for a new tree to put in our master bedroom. Previously, I had a um, six-foot pencil tree that was rose gold back when I used to do more of a feminine Christmas theme but I didn't even put a tree in our room last year and I really missed it and I'm going to ditch the rose gold so I ordered this tree from Walmart sadly when I got it in the box was like destroyed <laughs> and um I'm, I haven't even put it together yet so this is uh you'll kind of get a look of what it looks like I will um put a picture on the screen of what the tree is supposed to look like so you can see. But if you can see this little piece right here, yeah, it's super bent um, and the box is all crunched, but it has these gorgeous like big ball lights on it. Anyways, it's a four foot flock tree with LED lights that actually change colors. You can do multicolored lights or warm white lights. It was only 30 bucks, super good deal. It comes with a little a uh, bucket that says, I think it says Merry Christmas on it, but it's, it's really cute anyways, you'll see in the picture. But I hope my husband can just bend that piece back straight so when I put it together the tree's not super crooked, <laughs> but we're going to try to fix it first and if not I guess I will return it and try to get a different one. But yeah, so that's what I got from Walmart. I just have a few more items to show you. Um, I went to the at-home store, geez, probably back in late September or early October and they were already putting out Christmas stuff and so I decided to just pick up a couple things I saw while I was there. The first is, I think this is technically an ornament, but it is this trio of, these are plastic, they look glass, but they're plastic balls and they have snow and red berries and branches in them. I actually envision this hanging on my blanket ladder in our living room. Uh, I think that's going to be really cute, and this was $3.99. The only other thing I got at the at-home store was this ornament. It is a little box that says Merry Christmas. It has a buffalo check candle and then frosted greenery red berries. Matches my theme perfectly, and that was also $3.99. Okay, I have one thing from Home Goods. My mom and I were there shopping, I don't know when this was, a few weeks ago maybe, and I just randomly saw this in the kitchen aisle. It is a set of Ray Dunn Christmas uh, mini utensils. So you have a mini spatula that says Merry and Bright, 
a mini whisk that says celebrate and a mini rolling pin that says tis the season so these are going to be perfect in my kitchen i have a tiered tray in my kitchen i also have the chicken wire shelf that i'm going to do the hot cocoa theme so these are going to be great in my kitchen and this was $7.99 at home goods um, at TJ Maxx, I decided to pick up this throw blanket. It is a Ray Dunn. It's kind of um, just that plush, pl yeah, it just says oversized plush throw with patch. The patch down here says, so very merry in like a cursive font. But um, I have a green one that I put on our master bed for fall. And I love, I, I'm a cold sleeper. My husband is a very warm sleeper. So I usually sleep with a blanket on my side of the bed and I wanted to do a pop of red in our room. So this is perfect. This was at TJ Maxx for $16.99. And actually when I went in my TJ Maxx, they had multiple green ones, multiple red ones. The cashier was like, wow, you're lucky to have found this. And I was like, there's quite a few back there. So be sure to check your stores. Maybe you'll find one too. From Target, the only thing I've picked up so far is this little red blanket from the dollar spot. It was $5. Um, I have a red, green, and white plaid one from last year that's going to go on my blanket ladder, and I wanted a red one to pair with it. So this will probably also go on the blanket ladder. Um, and that's the only thing. My Target, the dollar spot wasn't really stocked last time I was there. And they were just starting to transition from Halloween to Christmas in the back of the store. I haven't been since Halloween. So maybe, I think I'm going tonight. So maybe they'll have more stuff out. But not that I need any. I told myself I wasn't going to buy any more <laughs> Christmas decor. Um, like I've, I've bought plenty. And I don't really need anything else that I know of. But of course when you start decorating, a, you know, sometimes you'll run into a space and you think, oh, I need this there. So we will see if I buy any more. Hopefully not. Hopefully I have it all covered. So those are all the actual decor items I have purchased for 2021. In our main living area, the living room, entryway, and kitchen, they're all going to be very traditionally decorated. Red, green, and white, buffalo, cha uh, buffalo check, snowy trees, red berries, um, a hot cocoa bar. It's going to be just very traditional. In our bedroom, we're doing more of the muted whites and greens with just a little pop of red the blanket on the bed and then i do have a pillow that has a little red car on it that's all that's going to go in the master bedroom um grant's room will have a tree in it and then the basement where i'm sitting now um, is going to be more fun so i do very pretty very traditional like planned out decor upstairs because that's where people walk into our house that's where we are most of the time but every year i do put up a family tree in our basement and it has just ornaments that daniel and i have collected since we were children and now grant will have a couple ornaments on there and it's just like a random just a random fun tree but that is seriously one of my favorite traditions is putting up that tree with daniel it is so much fun we put on a christmas movie we hang ornaments on the tree and it's so fun and then I do have like a Grinch sign that I'm going to put down here. And I also have a bunch of the retro plastic blow molds, like the mini ones. And they're legit retro, like found at yard sales and stuff. I think I'm going to do a bunch of those down here and just make it really fun for family movie nights and for Grant to see. So that's what I'm planning for down here. And that's about it. I'll put a couple things out in our guest bathroom, um, but that's really about it. So I'm very excited. The last thing I do have to show you, I treated myself to an advent calendar. I have never had an advent calendar in my life and I wanted this one last year and I never ordered it. So this year I was, I saw it online early in October and I was like, I'm ordering it now. And it is the David's Tea 24 Days of Tea Advent Calendar. Um, I love hot tea. Uh, I drink it so much in the winter so this has 24 different teas in it this calendar was 50 dollars, so it's pricey but in each day there is enough for about two servings so if you think about it that way it's almost like a dollar a day for a cup of hot tea which is so much cheaper than you could even do it like at starbucks so 
Um, I'm going to open it up for you guys because it is super fun. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's so pretty. It smells so good too. There's so many different teas in here. But I envision this sitting in our kitchen, probably next to my tiered tray. And I just think this is going to be so fun. So I'm really excited to try these out and to have treated myself to something. Katie, yes, you deserve to have fun things too, not just the baby. Oh, you guys, I'm tired. I'm covered in glitter and I'm ready for a coffee. Grant is still napping, so hopefully I have time to drink a coffee after I clean all this stuff up. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. I know it's a lot, and I just want to say you don't have to go all this all out for Christmas. I mean, just use what you have. It's all about creating the memories, and I just, I get so much joy out of decorating my home for the, all the seasons and making it a cozy place for my family, but... Seriously, because I switched my theme last year, just building on it a little each year. And so next year, I probably won't even have to buy this much stuff. And I do know um, I've already brought one of my Christmas bins in from the storage shed. And I already know some stuff in there that I'm going to donate. So um, I think it's just a good balance of, you know, buying what you need and then getting rid of stuff that you don't need. Like, that's all we can do, right? But have fun with Christmas decor. It's one of my favorite times of year. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun sharing with you all the new things that I've picked up this year and my decor plans for 2021. Stay tuned. I think I might post one Christmas decorating video um, maybe the week of Thanksgiving. I don't traditionally put up any Christmas decor until Black Friday. However, I think I might actually do our master bedroom early this year just because last year with the baby it was hard for me to like get everything out and have time to enjoy it before Christmas. So I probably will start trickling things out but the main living area and the main Christmas tree will not go up until Black Friday or the weekend after Thanksgiving. Um, that's just what I always do and that's what I will continue to do. So I hope you enjoy watching other people's videos from now until then and that I hope you enjoy watching my videos as you are decorating along with me. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like Christmas decor. Again, subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys next Thursday with a brand new video. Bye!